Hey guys, it's Cindy. Today I'm going to be doing my May wrap up for you guys. I read five things this month, which was really good because I also took a May Mester. If you know, if you keep up with my like reading vlog, I think I put up like one and I explained that I was going to do a May Mester, uh, which basically means that they take a 14 week long class and instead of it being 14 weeks, it's three weeks. So it's very intense and it was on, um, it was about tumor immunology. So I'm actually done with that. So I'm super excited because I have a little bit more time to, to uh, read. I was about to say to study, <laughs> but I had some really good reads. Ooh, my voice. <clears throat> But I had some really good reads this month, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I read was Paper Girls Volume 1, and I got this from my library. This is by one of the same authors that does um, the Saga series, and I actually really like the Saga series, so I decided to pick this up. It is really strange. It has, like, aliens and, like, time travel, and it's about girls that are paper girls so they're like really badass so I really like that aspect about it um this is like the first novel so it was a little bit more of like the background story I really like some of the art like it stays very like monochromatic so it doesn't have that many colors but it is like it's beautiful the art style is really nice and I gave this three stars the next book I read is one that I actually didn't enjoy that much it is Rainbow Rowell's Attachments I thought I was going to like this a lot more and I actually am mad that I bought it for like eight dollars I feel like I should have got it on ebook for like two dollars or rented it from my library and I gave this three stars it's like two and a half three stars it was okay it wasn't that great um, the premise of this is basically that there are these two best friends that email each other back and forth. That part I absolutely love. Like, just like the banter of best friends emailing each other, that part I loved. Um, but then there's this guy, and his job is basically to read other people's emails. So, at the workplace, if they're using their work email for, like, things other than work-related, um, they'll get flagged, and basically he has to go in and read them and tell them to, like, stop talking about things that aren't work-related, make sure they're not, like going to harm anyone or do anything irrational but he starts like developing feelings for one of the girls that's emailing back and forth with her friend and he was like totally snooping in on her life and he started to fall in love with her so it is very much so like a stalker story but that wasn't even like the part that bothered me the most <laughs> the part that bothered me was like how rushed it was it was like how long is this book 320 pages 323 pages so it was literally like 300 pages of like anticipation and then like 10 pages i know it's still not 323 but you know what i'm saying like 95 percent anticipation and then like five percent that's even a little too much of like actual romance and for that part i really just it just let me down so i wasn't that excited to read like i wasn't that excited about it after i read it the next book is one that I actually just got finished reading. It is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I actually thought I wasn't going to finish this before May, but I read this in two sittings. It was really good, and but it was not like my favorite book of all time. I think I was a little bit more lenient to give five stars at first on my channel, but I'm trying to be a little bit more like... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like a little bit harder on how I write books. Like I'm only giving five stars out to books that sincerely will stay with me for a very long time and that I sincerely love. So I really enjoyed this book but it's not going to be like, it's not like one of my all time favorite books. But I do like Christina Lauren as like a duet or a duo author group, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> a duo author group. Um, I really enjoy their work, so I did really enjoy this. It is um, told in like past and present tense, which I really enjoyed that. So like one chapter is like 15 years ago, and the next chapter is like currently happening. And basically you're following the uh, life of a girl named Macy. And Macy has gone through like so many tragedies in life she lost her mother very on like really really early on that's not like a spoiler or anything and she has found love and trust in one boy and his name is Elliot and like watching them fall in love with each other and like get to know each other like the past parts were like what made this book so good because like you got to experience their first with each other and I just I love that so much so for that part I like really enjoyed this book but there was like a couple of things that happened that just like overall like the ending I just didn't like what actually happened at the end and I don't want to give it away but that's what made it go from a five star to a four star in my book okay so I have two more things 
I have another four star. I actually rated this five stars on Goodreads, but I think I'm going to go back and give it a four because it's like somewhere in between a four and five. And it is Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Catugno. Once again, I don't think this is a five star read for me, but I really enjoyed it. It is my first, my first, it is my first Katie Catugno book and I haven't read anything else from her. You would think that I would have at least read 99 Days before reading this, but I did not. But I really enjoyed this. Um, but the thing is, why it's not a five-star book is because right now I can't fucking tell you what it's about. And <laughs> it takes place over like nine days. And she's like taking a trip to Europe. They're like backpacking with her boyfriend. And then she runs into her ex. And they have like all this history and all this turmoil that they've been through and all, and all these secrets they haven't told each other and you're just basically like living through all the awkwardness of them like being around each other after so long and like you finally find out what the secret is and it's it's I mean it's a good secret but like well it's a bad secret <laughs> but you get what I'm saying but I enjoyed it and I will be reading 99 days and more of Katie Katugno's work because I actually really enjoyed this one so the next book and the last book, well, the first book I read, whatever. The last one that I have is my five-star read, and I absolutely loved this book so much. I really want to go back and reread it, but I have, like, so many other books I need to read. And that is The Hating Gay by Sally Thorne. I know everyone and their mom says that this book is amazing, but literally this book is amazing. And if you can tell, like, I was only reading contemporaries because when I'm in school, that's kind of what I like to read is, like, contemporaries I don't like like world building and stuff because I just I don't have the attention span for it but this is such a cute office romance it is completely hate to love um like a hate to love trope but it's done so well and if you have not picked this up if you just have this sitting on your shelf like please pick it up because I wish I would have picked it up a lot sooner I've had it for like almost a year and it's just been sitting there she's coming out with a new book I think in October and I'm so excited to read it because I love this book so much there you guys have it hopefully next month I will be having more books read most of this reading actually happened towards the end of the month once I was done with classes and I'm like really into the library again so I probably will do a library book haul this month because I have quite a few new releases that I put on hold so thank you guys so much for watching uh, let me know what you guys read down in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!